if you have a larger percentage of behavior that can attract money you are going to be rich either online or offline as soon as you are aware of these that i'm telling you and by the way if you are not still aware you're the cause of your problem if you are still blaming the community blaming the president blaming this and that okay you are going to stay there for a while but if you have caught a tendency that oh yeah if it is my behavior if it's a pattern in my life that's why people that are poor have the pattern the ones that are rich have that pattern a lot of us on fiverr we get clients who will come to you that they want to give you money but at the end of the day they won't still give it to you because they will approach you and give giving them the vibe you are giving them is wrong understand yourself so you will know when your body let me use that language is telling you to take a risk or if it's telling you my friend will you stop that to make money online needs some psychology and to be successful online absolutely has to do with some psychology which by the way has a thin line between spirituality and what we call psychology today on the spirituality of money i want to tell you the psychology of money now stay calm and listen to what i am about to open up to you if you want to successfully make money online from your affiliate marketing from your freelancing from your print on demand from your blogging from your youtube from whatever means you want to use to make money there is a psychology behind it which is your behavior towards money please listen to this it's very very important i'm bringing this to you on the spirituality of money because if you don't know the difference between what you think about money and how to go about it and what the spirituality of it means you may end up not having it nobody had ever taught money anywhere everybody behaves about money based on what they feel that is why we are at a disadvantage let me tell you this you think that every time you offer a service money must be paid that's because you think sometimes if somebody dashes you in money you might not want to collect it because maybe the person is a ritualist the way you think sometimes as well you may want to venture into a business but all of a sudden you are feeling like this business is not good just like you are feeling now that am i sure this online is for me i've tried all i could for three years for two years am i sure this will break through of course you will break through because the psychology of money is human behavior towards achieving it which now nobody teaches you behaviors your parents have taught you countless times things you shouldn't do but you still do them to today even in religion what religion teaches is what you should do what you shouldn't do and i can tell you that most of us did not take it just go to social media and see how people are backlashing religion as if religion teaches kidnapping does religion teach that no does religion teach anything evil no so why are people still going after religion as if it's doing evil ordinary alcohol religion doesn't teach talk of every bad vices in the community in the society there is no religion that teaches it still people attack religion leaders they attack everything as if they are the reason for the pain in the society meanwhile the politicians that are really really the pain in the society everybody celebrating them i am alive and grown and old enough to see when there are governors former governors that really ran out of the country wearing women clothing come back and they're celebrated a lot of governors go to prison they will come back from prison and be celebrated what did they go to prison for for stealing the exact same money that should have been used in the community but nobody says anything about that simply because the way we feel money is our psychology to money is demented the only way you can get out of this is by spirituality and i'm going to tell you all of this right here right now now listen to this either you have money at hand or you have money in the bank or you don't have money at all or you have a source of income or you don't it doesn't matter money is an entity your behavior that attracts this money is another entity i hope you are following me so today i am going to expose you to the spirituality of money based on your psychology based on your behavior what limitations that come to you via these and how you can expressly blow out yourself either online or offline 
and please take this very seriously because your behavior towards having money is massive if you are going to be rich it's all about you your behavior your belief your psychology and if you are not going to have it as well it's still all about you so now that you are the reason why you are not making money online why now that you are the reason why you are not attracting customers on your freelancing i think it's high time we fix this are you ready now as soon as you are aware of these that i'm telling you and by the way if you are not still aware you are the cause of your problem if you are still blaming the community blaming the president blaming this and that okay you are going to stay there for a while but if you have caught a tendency that oh yeah if it is my behavior if it's a pattern in my life that's why people that are poor have the pattern the ones that are rich have that pattern it's not like they only leave children money those rich people do not only leave their children money but they are taught money how to attract more money how to sell contracts how to collect deals a lot of us on fiverr we get clients who will come to you that they want to give you money but at the end of the day they will still give it to you because they will approach you are giving them the vibe you are giving them is wrong do you know how many youtubers you've seen and you didn't like like you like me why do you like me can I ask that question? Go to the comment section and tell me. Why do you like me? It's all about my behavior. It's the way I behave. There are some behaviors I'm going to exhibit to you now. You are going to leave this channel unsubscribe, and I'm sure some people are unsubscribing as well. Maybe my behavior is not what they want. But if you have a larger percentage of behavior that can attract money, you are going to be rich, either online or offline. Now, these are the things that I want to now tell you today and I'm going to tell you 11 please let's count it in a few minutes I will just explain each one in three three lines so I will not spend most of your time the very first one that I want you to take a look at is what I call luck and risk under normal circumstance you want to take a decision you are thinking am I going to be lucky with this is this a risk for me I've had on this channel one of us that sold this taxi simply because he wants to do online so he went and sold his taxi he's a driver and then he used the money to buy a laptop he bought modem and a new phone and he said i'm not doing taxi again so i asked him how much do you make per day he said i make around two thousand every day i said okay now now that you are not doing this how do you feed your family since you said you're married he said my wife does a regular petty job that should feed the family I'm ready to go all out till I make it. I put my hands on my head. I say congratulations. You, my friend, you are rich. You know why? When you take those decisions, it looks like a risk, but you are going to be lucky. Now, let me pen that down to spirituality. What spirituality brings to you is your ability to recognize what is instantly something that's going to pay you off or something that is going to pay you under the risk value in things when you are spiritual your inner mind is sharp that's what it means and you can use these to leverage in your finances so i remember somebody says i want to give you a job of a thousand dollars but what he said i'm going to do was like very massive i can't even finish it in two months i said i'm not doing first reflex i'm not doing but i am spiritual something like instinct that's what they call it we call it the spirit of god he start talking to you my friend will you take that job i said ha how am i going to fix this my friend take the job i took the job the man after he had already said um, i want all the job in one month blah 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 when i started i couldn't even get close to it you know something like 150 books i did do that in one month for one thousand dollars the figure was low but at the end of the day, he gave me more time, brought his friends, and I can tell you I made like $12,000 from that single man. If I had just said no, 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 and he left, maybe all this my success story would not have even been complete. Maybe I wouldn't be here today. When you miss opportunity because you are not spiritual enough to dig deeper, to understand what is about to come, then you will miss out on some things. Like I said, this might not be your thing. But I want you to understand that you are not just an ordinary being. Every night you go to bed to sleep, you see yourself in a dream. What do you think is happening? You, my friend, you're a spiritual being. The more you start to think lower, I'm not asking you to go to any pastor or anything, but I'm just telling you, understand yourself so you will know when your body, let me use that language, is telling you to take a risk or if it's telling you, my friend, will you stop that? 
a lot of families have been crashed because they did some investments that crumbled them till tomorrow they are not up simply because they could not figure out that this is a risk it's not going to bring luck number two when you have this never enough syndrome based on what you think money is you are not going to make money because when you're supposed to take a deal for example a lot of people ask me why are you doing everything free when people are selling i said of course i'm not just selling i am giving value it's not because i have enough money it's simply because i have said it's enough so i can barely wear clothes that i sew myself not because i don't know there is designer that i can buy one shirt for sixty thousand. why would i because i have enough i don't want extra i just want enough so the value i can give because at the end of the day i'm aware everybody's going to die so when you die nobody's going to count the number of designers that you wear nobody's going to remember the number of designer shoes that you wear do not have this never enough mentality when you are looking for money some jobs you are supposed to do do you know a lot of us cannot wait for three months before we break through online we can't even successfully wait for six months you just want it now i want something i can make five dollar now i want something i can make twenty dollar now and by the time you stay a week or two and you can't make it now then you move to the next thing that will still not bring you money because your behavior your psychology is now so have this mentality, that's when you have abundance, that there is nothing that will be enough. So the little you have, the small that you have that you say is not enough, will now become enough because your decision-making process will become better when you no longer chase the man mode that is called money. Number three, pessimism. Pessimism. Everything that happens to you, you see it from the negative perspective. Everything that happens to you, you see it from the bad perspective. Spirituality teaches you to trust God. That means you can't see yourself as evil. You didn't create yourself. Somebody created you and he told you in the Holy Scriptures that you should just trust him that's going to give you the best. What do you think he's doing? A lot of people think religion is evil. It's not. It's trying to help you. At least, even if things are bad, tell it to him. Believe in him that things will be good. Guess what? Things will now start becoming good. But if you are not spiritual, then you start becoming pessimist. Oh, my account balance is 5,000. Where will I see money? Of course, where have you been seeing the one you've been spending since you are 25? Why are you panicking now? Something will come around and it will fix you up. Don't worry. Just continue as if nothing is happening. Consciously continue. That is what spirituality teaches and that's what psychology of money brings. You see how spiritual money is that most people don't know. It's not about serving a God you don't know or don't see. The impact of what it tells you to do makes your life better here in the world because absolutely you will not become pessimistic no matter what happens to someone like me i don't really care because i know something is controlling somewhere from somewhere it doesn't make sense but it helps my mental strength you see how spirituality works number four staying humble that can never be taught on the streets you can get that by psychology when you have money there is a pressure that comes to you there is a shoulder pad that comes to your clothing i am very humble most people are still wondering how do you do it because of spirituality when i accept that there is a spirituality to everything and that only bible tells me that i should not be proud so even if i have a billion i am still on that radar i can still carry your back for you i can still help you in washing cars i wash my car i don't really see people as undervalued because they don't have money but you have to see these rich men that knows nothing about spirituality how they behave you will be sorry for yourself that's why some people outside the country will use racism words against everything you know why simply because they think they are higher so spirituality tells you that everybody's equal nobody's higher whether you have money or you don't have money you are not supposed to be angry or sad because of your financial status you have so many things that money cannot buy so why are you worried about money if we are to do exchange now can i exchange your health for a million dollars can you exchange your health for that can you exchange all your babies and your everybody you love pack them together and i'll give you a million dollars and you give them give me everybody you love can you do that no most times you have things that are more valuable than money so don't just concentrate on, on the fact that it is only money or nothing no no don't do it that way be humble either you have money or you don't don't be sad even if you don't the only conscious thing i want you to do is focus on your online and keep working if you're on this channel you will know that there is no way you will not break through provided you're doing everything that we are doing here five freedom is not only 
with money most people will put something like oh i wish i can travel to dubai oh i wish i can do this oh i wish i can make a thousand dollars like pastor b is doing now look freedom is not in money that's the truth because you don't have money doesn't mean you cannot be free it doesn't really mean that you cannot be happy look for happiness away from this and that exactly my friend is what spirituality teaches whether you have abundance or you don't have we believe that everything belongs to god so i don't have a reason to be angry and that helps your mental strength i hope you are understanding the power and the ability of spirituality that helps you live a normal life i have a quote i have a quote I usually say, even if Jesus is not coming back to pick me to heaven, even if after I die, that's the end of it, I'll still serve Jesus here on earth. You know why? Because it's helping me out. Most of the behaviors, my friends, that I know behave that they are in danger. I'm not in danger. I don't go after people. I don't commit the basic sins. You see, all of these are helping you out, although you might say it's spirituality, but it's letting you achieve more. The money some people have wasted servicing sin is already enough to make them somebody in life, but they will not know because they feel they're enjoying life. I am also enjoying life. How do you know? I'm in good health. Their head is almost in shambles because of what they drink, what they eat, you know. A lot of things that are going into the body that were not made to receive those things. The owner of the body that created the body said this is what you should eat. But you are putting things that are harmful to the body. And then when you are, that's why rich people have various diseases. Various. There's hardly a rich man at 60 that is not in problem with their health. Simply because of what they expose themselves to. Because there is money from hotel to hotel, from girls to girls, to from men to men. You know, different things. And that's what spirituality protects you against. So, understand that freedom is not only money. And you will make it online because you'll be calm enough. You won't be under pressure to say, oh, I want to pay my school fees. Oh, I want to pay. Yeah. Before you came online, you've been paying. Just calm down. When you calm down, pretend as if you don't need the money. That's what I do. And you can see how many free things I do on this channel. So you will know. It's not like I don't need money. I have a family. I have a large family for your information. But I pretend as if I don't need money so that I can calmly take the bulk of it. That is the spirituality of money that fixes your psychology about money number six compounding understand that you cannot compound money when you spend bulk of it in sin you can't compound money just wasting money on things that are frugal then how do you compound it compound of money means you have to invest over and over and over and over which means you have to practice delayed gratification how many people can practice delayed gratification when they are so eager to spend money to show off to be on social media you see how this works spirituality will tell you everything in moderation you can wear some clothing it now looks like a sin when you are overly dressed it looks as a sin to believers simply because it's helping you to save your money so you can compound it it's common sense if you accept this spirituality it's easier for you to live life long enough than when you just eat it blah, 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 in between and then you collapse okay number seven I'm going to 11 there is always an element of surprises when you are a believer because you believe that when you plant when Apollo waters that there is a supreme being that breathes harvest on it which is good so when I'm on African Giant YouTube channel and I'm making videos, I don't even know how many people are going to view, but I believe that something somewhere is going to bring views to it, it's going to bring me more money on my athlete, it's going to bring me more. That's for your mental strength. It's for your mental health. It's nothing bad. Understand that spirituality helps you to look out for tomorrow, to believe tomorrow will be better than today. Meanwhile, people of the world, Today is always better than their tomorrow because they will tell you, ah, last year, if you know what I did last year, around this time I bought a car, but they, because they always see yesterday, they can't see tomorrow. As a believer, you see tomorrow, which helps your mental strength. You see how things work. Number eight, are you creating a room for error or you are built for error? You see, nobody's above error. You can commit a sin, you can commit a problem, you can have an issue. Those things are still okay because we believe as believers in spirituality that there is the blood of Jesus to clean all these things out. Right. But understand that if you are built for error, then you commit an error you think it's just sin. I'm just lying. I'm just, you know, womanizing. I'm just manizing, whichever one. But do you know that as soon as you click on the forum of error that's how you do the error across everything you do you marry the wrong person you do the wrong business you choose the wrong niche that's how it will go because you are not supposed to be built for error you are supposed to be slim to error marginally not that you live your life in error that's what spirituality helps you do because it will tell you thou shall not commit a sin thou shall not do this thou shall not do that and most people think it's a kind of prison but it's a good prison right 
It's a very good prison. I tell you because that will let you make the right choices. If you can discipline yourself not to go after drugs, not to go after women, absolutely, you will be disciplined enough to take the right decision when it comes to online money making. Do you understand how things work? Number nine, I'm moving fast now. Believe that nothing is free except for the blood of Jesus. Absolutely nothing is free. On this channel, I give lots of free things, but then the freebies is not mostly free because you still have to use your data to watch, you still have to maybe call me, you have to register for one or two things. So believe that whatever you do, you must do your best to give as much as free as possible. At the end of the day, that is the value you give that will still allow people to trust you enough to you know give you some money, which will still enough make your life better. Nothing is absolutely free except the blood of Jesus. That is what we were taught. So when you deal with people, you won't be looking for favor. A lot of people are looking for necessary favor. I'm looking for somebody to help me. Oh, African giant, why not just reduce this for me? Why not give me this? You are looking for all that. No, 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 no. Always pay premium for value. Be conscious of that and that will change your life. Simply underline that. It will change your life. When you are conscious of premium, it will change your life. Don't look for free things. Don't put yourself in a position where everybody has to help you. When you are speaking to people, you are saying, how will you help me? No, don't come from how will you help me. Come from your position as what can I do for you. That expands your horizon to think deeper so you will have time to fully and you have time to work. I hope you understand it. Number 10 now, believe and confess it. That's what we do when we pray. Believe it and confess it. If I say it shall be well with you, I mean it. It shall be well with you. If I say your online money making will be profitable to you, I mean it. It will be profitable to you. Why do you have to second guess yourself? Say the exact thing you want, whether it's looking like that or not, it will come. You know, most of the time you take time to manifest. Children take time to grow. Understand that your prayers too takes time. To grow don't pray and expect it today sometimes it happened today sometimes it might not happen tomorrow we've had three year old children who can talk like adults it's not a common thing the common thing is for you to grow so if the common thing is for your prayers to grow confess it confess it confess it what did i say i want you to go to the comment section and confess what do you want about your online journey confess it now this is an opportunity for the world to hear you confess it now and between you and me i want to confess to you that this online journey will profit you it will profit you and i'll see you next week